prepare and present security documentation and reports. In this competency, you will learn the following. Gather information. Check and organize information. Present information. Gather information. As a security officer, you will need to comply with legislative and organizational requirements such as industry codes of practice, privacy and confidentiality, client service standards and codes of conduct and ethics. Any assignment instructions such as timeline and activities must be identified and complied with. As a security guard, you may receive written, spoken and electronic information relating to anything from clients and colleagues to reports and signage. This information needs to be checked against your assignment instructions such as use of force and equipment needs. You will need to ensure these tasks are carried out and all requirements are met. Instructions need to be carefully listened to and clarified with colleagues or your supervisor. Be sure to actively listen to all instructions and obtain all verbal and non-verbal instructions. This ensures a complete understanding of the tasks and the requirements. Look, um, I need to take this video tape if you wouldn't mind and put it in the safe. Yeah, you want me to do it now? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be good. No Thanks. worries. Okay. Prioritise your workload to ensure specified time frames are met. Any areas of uncertainty or misunderstandings must be identified and explained, regardless of whose fault they are. Any disagreements over instructions should be politely resolved using the appropriate conflict resolution procedures. Closed circuit television system. So when you put your code in, it sets off an alarm in the control room and they have a look at their monitor and they can see that it's you there. Oh, okay. okay. So that basically means that we don't need to use the intercom anymore. However, the procedures manual that you'll have um, doesn't have the updated amendments. So I shall bring to you later on today the new amendments okay. and we'll go through that. All right, thank All you. Right. No worries. No worries. If there are any areas of your role that you are unsure of, be sure to clarify these with the relevant persons such as your supervisor. Any relevant information required should be obtained from information sources such as interviews and meetings, the internet, records reports and case notes and video recordings. Be sure the methods you use to collect this information are reliable and make efficient use of any resources required. All business equipment being used, such as email, fax and scanning, should be done so to assist in sourcing, collecting and organising information. Any relevant workplace procedures must be identified and complied with in accordance with your OHS requirements, such as controlling and minimising risk and first aid. Check and organise information. All information that has been gathered must be assessed in terms of validity, reliability and relevance against all organisational and reporting requirements. If any additional information is required, it can be sought from sources such as colleagues, records, interview, internet, library or other organisations where appropriate to your task or assignment. Make sure you review all material to ensure its completeness and that it accurately meets all reporting requirements. All of this information must be prioritised in a logical manner to facilitate any further use. All of this must be done within organisational procedures and reporting requirements. Present information. Information should be organised in a clear, concise and logical manner using databases, notebooks and report sheets or any other appropriate materials. Hi Rebecca, Hi. I'd like the lost property report from the 23rd of February please. This is to allow efficient reference and retrieval. Great, thanks very much. As a security guard, you will deal with many confidential, legal or sensitive documents. These may be required by law to be written in a legible format and kept in a safe place. These documents may also need to be produced on demand to the police, other authorities such as fire departments or simply to your employer. Document safety, retrieval and accuracy is important. 
All workplace documents need to be completed according to legal and employer requirements using the correct business equipment and technology. This can range from email and fax to personal schedulers. Ask your supervisor for more information about technology and procedures used at your workplace. If your reports are to be reviewed, a draft may need to be forwarded to the relevant persons, such as your supervisor or client, for review. Feedback should then be sought and any constructive feedback or requested changes and inclusions should be made into the final document. Your final document should be presented within the designated time frame, using clear and concise language and meeting all organisational standards relating to style, format and accuracy. Your supervisor will be able to explain the standards used in your workplace. Finally, make sure you securely store any retained material in accordance with your organisational procedures. You may handle sensitive and confidential information in your role as a security officer, and it's your duty to ensure that this information remains safe at all times.